Hi guys, HLAM998 here. Well, been a couple weeks, I know, been slacking off, been late, been lazy, laying on the couch. No, I'm just kidding. Um, well, like you know, uh, America has opened back up and uh, restaurant was start to open up, bars start to open back up, country clubs open back up, and hopefully we get back to our normal life again. Hopefully, I say hopefully. Uh, the COVID-19 sucks. I mean, it is killing our economy. It killed my, my paycheck. It killed my wife's paycheck. But gladly, Uncle Trump got a plan to make America great again. So, well, thank you, Uncle Trump. Oh, plus Uncle Trump buck. That was uh, $1,200 from Uncle Trump for each individual. That's really helpful. Um, Mrs. Nancy Pelosi tried to take that credit for herself. I think which is bullshit. But anyhow... The stimulus package really helped the economy a little bit, you know. When you went to Lowe's and Home Depot, you see people was piling up trying to get the home improvement stuff, which is good, which is good, okay? Um, before I start a gun video review, I would like you to like, share, and subscribe. I don't ask you to pay me, guys. Just like and share and subscribe to my channel. I'm not like those guys in the Patreon that ask you to donate money. I don't need your money. Uh, I'm, like, I'm like Trump. I inherit a lot of money, okay? Uh, I don't know if that's be a joke or not, but it's pretty funny. Um, I actually did too, but anyhow, um, I do work. I mean, in fact, I do have a jobs. Okay, all right. Next long story short, Beretta M9 or Beretta 92 FS. Long, long, long serving in the military. Um, some it's a either you loves it or you hates it. There's nothing right between on this Beretta M9 or 92FS. Same gun, same spec. One were made in U.S. and one made, made in Italy. But the same exact gun. Same spec, everything the same. Correct me, I'm, I'm wrong. I used to own the M9. I sold it because... Not because I hate it. Because I'm just not in a fan of this slight decocker safety. You know what I mean? It's very awkward positions. Um, great firearms. I, I love it a lot. Um, it's one of the gun that you buy and you take it out to the range. And it's first, it's a really good gun to introduce for the first shooter. Um, I, I don't think my wife has shot this gun, but my daughter shot it. She's eight years old, and she sh she shoot this gun like a freaking champ. I was like, dang, girl. You probably be a competition shooter, but man, she make a group like this big. At, um, I was at an eight-inch group at 10 yard. But hell, for the eight years old, you know, and her hand is barely, you know, reaching the trigger right here. I was like, dang, girl. But, um... She shot it. She loves it. I love it. The recoil is very manageable. I mean, compared to a lot of 9 million, compared to a Glock. I'm not talking shit about Glock, but man, Glock recoil. Um, oh, it's Smith & Wesson m and or um, what do you call it? A 6 Hour. But this gun, I'm telling you, it's a good gun to introduce your liberal friends or your wife or your girlfriend or your daughter into shooting a big gun. I wouldn't say big gun, but 9 minute not a big gun, but for them, it's considered a big gun. Guys, great firearm. I pay $450 for this thing, and I don't think you pay, I don't, I don't think you can beat a $450 handgun like this, and I'm telling you, it's a hell of a gun. You get it used for 450. Neil's MSRP on this is 699, but you can find it on online on the street all day long. I would say about 550 new. Academy had one uh, for sale, exact same gun for five. I think 549 or 539 somewhere like that. But 550, uh, 550 range. Reliability, reliability wise, I have a little 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 rating card here that I make for myself. I don't know, camera can focus it in for a little bit for it. That's a that's my that's my top five uh uh uh, uh what do you call it rating for the gun. You can I have a bad handwriting I know. Anyhow, uh reliability five star five star reliable. Somebody said oh this gun having problem or Navy SEAL you know having having uh, uh this gun will blow the slide was blow up you know, on them, and they got stitching on the hand and stuff like that. But that was, 
that was introduced on the first batch of Beretta was making a mistake. The his treating process was wasn't very good. Uh, that's what that what caused him the the gun to malfunction or eventually blowing up. <clears throat> Safety check, clear. All right, put it down. I know I dropped the slides a couple of times. I got some viewer tell me not to do that, which I completely understand because a little from my my grandpa told me never drop a slice on the gun. I remember that as well. So sometimes you can forget to get used to the polymer gun and just you know I drop my slide on the Glock all the time, but um. Not something like this. The spring and stuff like that, you know, they designed to push the, the bullet in into the chamber. So it's better off for you to not drop the slide. You can do what the hell you want with it. It's your gun. But for me, how I've been raised, how I was taught, so I wouldn't recommend to drop the gun. But sometimes I got to come some bad habit that I was drop the slide, you know, without having a, a, a chamber of the gun. So which is, ugh. anyhow, capacity, 15 round mag. You can get 30 round mag for it. Um, I would recommend you get a 30 round mag. Why? Because you're right. Because my right hell, just do it. You know, if I get a drum magazine for this thing, fuck, I'll get it. You know, it's America, guys. We live in a free country. So, well, other than you live in California, New York, and Michigan, and all those, all those, uh, common estates, um, durability, very, very, very durable. Man, I would, this is the only handgun I dropped more than a thousand rounds to it without a malfunction. I said without stove piping, without jamming, without extracting problem. Man, this freaking thing just run and run and run. It's the open slice that you see, well, open barrel, open slide, whatever the hell you call it. It's a short recoil action. I believe it's... It's a copy, not a copy. The design on this thing was based on the Walter P38, which is the old German gun. <laughs> and great freaking firearm, guys. Accuracy, why? Oh my god, like I told you earlier, my daughter can make a group like an eight inch group at 10 yard. I myself, I would say I'm better than my daughter, but I, my grouping about, I would, would be about three to four inches. If I, you know, Give me a good match ammo and give a good focus at about, I would say 15, 10 to 15 yards. I shot this thing countless times, but I just don't take it out to the range very much because I hate cleaning this freaking thing, you know. I'm going to tell you why in a little bit. Oh, what else? Oh, ergonomic. Oh, my God. Ergonomic is phenomenal, guys. I got a, the grip is a little big for a lot of people. I have a large side on hand, uh, fit me perfectly. This is a gun of the 80s. Die Hard. Oh my gosh. Freaking Die Hard. I was in Vietnam. I was 10 years old or 12 years old. I saw the Die Hard poster. Uh, well, we lived with Light Hard, which is a American imperialism in Vietnam. So, which is illegal in Vietnam. Everything in America, you know, I'm, I'm glad I'm here, guys. I love America. But that movie was actually illegal in Vietnam, but somebody chose to have a poster and I saw that poster. I thought, oh my God, dude, what the hell was that? And I that this gun is in my head since I was 12. And I never know what the hell this is until I come to America. I said, like, dang, that's a Breda M9. I don't know, I don't know what the hell is Breda F, you know, 92 FS. I don't know, oh shit, that's an M9. I was blown up a mind blowing about seeing this gun. I was so happy. I said, get my hand into it. This, uh, this is not the first handgun I bought. My first handgun I bought was, you know, was a uh, cheapo high point. And then the second gun I bought, I remember the Beretta M9. And God, man, I could, I, I, I'm telling you, if, if, if I can have sex with this gun, I would have sex with this gun. I'm telling you, this is how much I love that Beretta M9 design. It's, you know, you're 12 years old. You don't know anything. You saw that gun, the Die Hard, you know. And I was like, dang, I want this gun. It's in your mind. But anyhow, love the freaking thing. Um, the gun came with a four and a half, four point nine inches. But I don't, I don't know why I said five. Extra point one inch. I don't know why I put make it five inch. But um, four point nine inches. Okay. The length on this gun is pretty long. It's a full size gun. Eight point five inches is almost nine inches long. Uh, the gun and it weighed about two point one. 
five pounds equal 34 ounces uh, empty I would say empty with a mag okay I weighed it before 35 ounces so about one ounce is heavier than what a factory say I don't know why it might be my scale is off but I weighed it, it is what it is uh, is designed 1975 that's why I don't go up with this gun I go up with 1911 I go up with uh, 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 a lot of 1911 uh, Browning high power which is a well if I if I saw one decently priced I would buy it um, maybe if my wife didn't chew me out for buying too many guns uh, which is see stand behind the camera uh, a guy if I saw a good browning high power I grew up with I would freaking buy it would, I saw a lot of them with a really beat up condition and this and guy if I saw one decently priced good condition have browning high power I would definitely buy it um, I don't grow up with this gun very much, so the, 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 uh, uh, I don't know much about this gun until I, until I come to the state and start shooting. I love my M9. I sold it because it's just, I think the gun is very awkward. Here, the safety. Alright, safety check again. No round of chamber. It's freaking awkward. You see that? You can't use your finger. Yeah, you can, but it's just, it's really in the awkward position, you know, with your and then you use your thumb, it's like, God, why don't you put a safety right here or something? Damn it. Or, well, ambidextrous safety, uh, or D, that's D cocker. I will, I really wish they have a, uh, what do you call it, ambidextrous slice, uh, uh, what do you call it, slice release, but it's only gonna come, come on, come on the left side. Um, I wish I have both, you know, ambidextrous on that. But, um, hell of a guns. And, one thing that I pointed out to a lot of people is the this assembly on this gun. Oh my god. Bam! Oh! See how easy that is? To drop the, to take the slice out. And the reason why I hate to shoot this gun because I need to clean I put some Mutech 1 grease on there, which is help because um, I don't know how you boys uh, loop your gun, but I love some good high quality, um, what do you call it, synthetic grease on my gun because I is run better. Um, I grew up with it. Uh, people put good, you know, CLP or good gun oil or locust. You know, one thing I really want to share my little secret is chainsaw oil work really well on my Glock and my AR too. So chainsaw, I have a chainsaw. I use those oil for my gun. It's freaking thing just work great. It doesn't gummed up or anything. And I love it. Hey, even on a, uh, well, I, you know, I put that on a boat action gun, some uh, chain, chainsaw oil. And um, I found it worked pretty good even on, on, on a 20 degree, you know, temperature in the winter time while we're wild deer hunting. So, Hey, it's war for me. Um, let me point it out. Let me see if some some something I can uh, use. Okay, all right. Here I got a little knife here. See all this all this little little gap, little gloom here. All the powder residue is all over in this area, and you know around the little gap here. Oh my God, cleaning this freaking thing is a bitch. I'm telling you, cleaning this thing is really take you a lot of times. I used to do a little kill tip to clean individually. Ah, oh, I hate to do that. You know, with my Glock, I just wipe it off. With my six out, just wipe it off. But with the freaking thing, it just stuck in here. And one time, I shot about 400 rounds. I'm just being lazy, and I had my buddy shot his. Uh, well, I don't know how many rounds my buddy uh, uh, put put in. There. He his bullet. You know, it's my gun, his bullet. I think I think he probably shot about 100 rounds through this thing. I said, boy, I put 400, put 100. I think we have about 500 plus around this thing. And I took it home and clean it. It's a bitch. I got to, I really got to put this thing out, you know, in a safe. And you know what? I don't want to shoot this thing anymore because just the cleaning part, it sucks. But reliables, 500 plus round at the range without one malfunction. And accurate, guy, freaking accurate. But if you're talking about buying a gun that for you, your family to enjoy, I wouldn't look away, you know, from the Beretta M9 design. 
I'm a well, Beretta 92 design because it's a freaking good gun. I I loves it. My 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 daughter loves it. I will I will take this gun out to the range again. Maybe this weekend if it's not rain. I uh, have my wife shot it, and man, this freaking thing just no recoil. I would use this gun for home defense all day long. I wish the 92, well, the 92 A1 came with a PTT rail where you can mount your laser or your flashlight on it. It's a good option for home defense. This one, it doesn't come with a, uh, um, a PTT rail, but I love this gun. It's a gun of the 80s and the 90s, you guys. A lot of people want Glock and, man, come on. Look at this thing, you know? As classic as can look. It's a beautiful gun. And the Beretta 92FS is a symbol of no concealed carry sign. When you see the no concealed carry sign, that based out of this, you know, the little, little no gun sign. I don't know. It's based out of this gun. So, very, very popular gun in American culture. Served in the military all over the world, all in the U.S. Um, great, great, great firearms. Secondary truck gun, yes, very very reliable secondary truck truck gun. And people told me that one thing I I, th I think people just blow smoke on me, which is let's say that stuff was gummed up in here. No, it's not bullshit. They say, oh, the super care this in Iraq, you know this and that. And you know what? My cousin got this freaking thing on his hip. In Iraq, in Fallujah, in the combat, I, I asked him, U.S. Marine Corps, hell, that's freaking good gun. This and the, uh, this and the uh, M1911A1, good, 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 good firearms. Because they say they wish the forty, wish the forty-five, the high capacity magazine. But don't get me wrong, guys. I love my 1911, but this freaking thing is served well in the military. If 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 you if I if, if it's good good enough for a military to use it, it's good enough for us to use it. That's how I put it out. Uh, Wilson Combat also makes some special version of this gun. Nicer grips, um, you know, nice sight. Which it don't matter, you know. For me, it's something perfectly well. I pay four fifty for this gun. Like I say, man, hell of a good gun, and. What else is uh, I need to want to talk about? Um, yeah, the polymer grips. I probably gonna change out to wood 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 grips. Um, I need to beat this one up a little bit here. Can Julie? Can you focus in a little bit? See this? You see this? Um, this wear here. This means countless rounds have been shooting through this gun. And the, the one of shell defect that hit this spot right here. So you see all this worn right here. The on the Beretta, the more you see right here will be the more the gun was fired. So the guy can't lie to you. It's the oldest gun the brand freaking new. Look at this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So that's what shoulder gun was being used a lot or not. That determined how many rounds the gun, you know, how, how much the gun was shot. Uh, have a little holster wear here and there. That because of me, I drop it in and out, you know, my ankle. Oh, well, not my ankle, my hip, you know, in and out. A lot when I'm out in the range. Um, I think the last time I was to rank my buddy, I dropped the thing on the, on, 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 on in mud. And, um... I don't have a towel, so I just pull a bottle of water in it and shook it off and have it shoot again. <laughs> it's aluminum slice. I mean, no, no, aluminum frame and a stainless steel, well, steel slide or metal steel slide. Great, great, great firearms. Uh, if you don't care if the gun look kind of classic, this is the way to go to. Um, I would say, if you're a first-time gun buyer, it, I would recommend a first-time gun buyer because the recoil and how easy to you know take it apart. But maintaining the gun is a different thing, you know. Like you know, you gotta clean all this, all this, all this small gap in there, which is which is pain in the butt to do it. Uh, what else I need to talk about? Um, well, you see the button here. I push this. Pull the lever down. That's it. Now we take the slice apart. 
recoil rod, spring, pull it out, barrel pull it out. Very simple. I don't have to do that. You can write a book about it or you can go on and read about it. I don't think I want to do that. To save your time and my time, it's not that I'm lazy. It's because that's not necessary. Uh, Hickok 45 mentioned that this gun was... Man, I, I don't know. He, he shot this thing like a... It's run like a beast. But anyhow, uh, I wish the gun come with nice sight. I do, I do wish the gun come with nice sight. True thing I wanna, I, 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 well, you know, it's too late now. They don't, they don't, they don't make it. Well, the military, they, 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 they switch over to the six tower M17 and the M18, which kind of sad because I know polymer gun, new technologies, the trigger on that freaking M18 was phenomenal. Oh my god, I shot that freaking thing. It was great. I know one of switch over because it's reset, the recoil, it's very manageable. Actually, it felt it felt really good with that. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna, you know, look away from, from the uh, 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 the six hour but uh the three a uh, three twenty, the water base are three twenty. I would look away from that gun. That's a hell of a gun. Uh I wish this gun are you know a little little bit more in, in pedestrian because but it's not, you know, um, it's a gun of the 80 and the 70. It's not outdated, guys. I would, I would, I probably would never sell this gun, uh, in my lifetime. And like I say, if I saw another Browning High Power, I would definitely buy. It. Correct me if I'm wrong. This gun was tested in the, by by the U.S. Army with 20,000 round without malfunction. So correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, this was was. Fire side by side with a six sour two two six, and I think I think I submit a lot of people submitted the gun into the for trial for the army and the, you know and the navy and the military to um, uh, uh, um, replace the M nineteen eleven, but you know while I pick this, so somebody been talking a lot of trash about oh the reason to pick the M nine because a hundred dollar cheaper than a six hour, well. Yeah. So so what? Hundred dollars, hundred bucks. If you took, you know, you, like Uncle Trump saying, you know, gonna run the country that to run the business. That's how we make America great again. But um, that's all I got for you guys, guys. Uh, good, 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 good gun for for the secondary truck gun, the truck gun, the home defense, concealed carry. Yes, yeah, good, great for concealed carry. If you don't care for the size. Um, reliable, very, very, very reliable. So that's all I got for you guys, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, and hey, don't forget, keep America great.